Well, it's just after 7 p.m. here in the Russian capital. We begin with our breaking news. The plane tragedy that's killed nearly all of the uh, champion Russian ice hockey team, Lokomotiv Yaroslavl. Well, uh, you're looking on your screen at uh, first pictures coming from the uh, crash site there. Their uh, Yak-42 jet crashed during takeoff from Yaroslavl Airport. You can see uh, still burning there um, at the site. Now, where this happened is 270 kilometers northeast of Moscow, killing 43 of the 45 who were on board. Authorities say the plane failed to gain enough altitude and crashed into the runway beacon. Well, technical failure is thought to be the main cause of the crash, and the plane crashed on its way to the uh, Belarusian capital, Minsk, where the team were heading to play their first match of the season. Now, it's being reported that players from Sweden, Poland, Ukraine, Czech Republic, Germany, Latvia, and Belarus are said to be on board. Now, we do have a, we do have a correspondent live in Yaroslav, but we'll still try to establish connection with her. In the meantime, I'm joined by uh, sports presenter Kate Partridge. Kate, this is uh, certainly a big story in the uh, sporting world. Uh, what can you tell us about uh, Lokomotiv Yaroslav? Lokomotiv Yaroslav are one of the powerhouses of the Continental Hockey League, which is the, which is the Russian league, and they the league is now was due to start its fourth term today. It's the ironically and sadly the first day of the season. And Lokomotiv were were semi finalists last year in, in the inaugural season. They 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 were they were runners up. They're always one of those teams that are there and thereabouts. So this is an, an incredible shock to all sports fans. Yeah, and this is happening, is, uh, is it at the beginning of the season? It so is the beginning of the season. How is that going season. to impact uh, the future games or the season itself? Any statements coming? We haven't had any statements come through. The one thing that we did know was that the game between the opening game of the season between, in Ufa, between Salavat Yulayev, who are the champions, and the runners-up at Lant, they were playing. They, they'd had the, the inaugural game that had gone underway. And then when news came through, when news broke of the crash, it was obviously devastating. It, they stopped the game and they had a minute's silence for, for fans and players, everybody that was there. All right, but this, uh, let's just look at the uh, background. Uh, well, just before we get to that, I just wanted to remind our viewers what they're looking at. This is actually uh, the, the first pictures coming from the crash site. That's uh, uh, in Yaroslav, that's about 270 kilometers uh, from uh, Moscow. That's northeast of Moscow. Again, looking at first pictures from the site, just seeing flames there. Um, still recovery efforts, uh, as you know from our reporter on the field, that still recovery efforts are underway, emergency services right there at the site. Uh, Kate, just going back to you, uh, this isn't the first tragedy. I mean, we've heard of tragedies involving uh, sports teams before, haven't we? Unfortunately, it, we, we managed to look through. I mean, there are some tragedies that are very well known, particularly for, for football supporters. I mean, Manchester United fans, obviously Munich, the Munich air disaster from 1958 is ingrained upon the history when eight of the team died and you had their coach, Sir Matt Busby, was also in critical condition before he survived. But that, that aside, we looked through, there were, we found 11 such tragedies. There was a Turin football team from 1940. We had the Zambian national football team from 1993. In 1961, the U.S. Olympic figure skating team were decimated. Unfortunately, as a case by the nature of air disasters, that if if you have the team, then the chances of, of survival it, it tends to take its toll. Yes, yeah, this is a developing story. I mean, uh, we certainly will be getting more reaction. But any initial reaction from fans, not just from Russia, but from where the, the, the countries where these players were from? We don't have anything so far. The only pictures that we could see coming through were from that match in Ufar between Salavat and Atlant and, and the stunned reaction. And that, so far, that is the general, general reaction so far. Shock. Okay. All right, Kate. We'll keep it there for now. Just uh, going back to a, a, a recap of our breaking news story. Again, the plane tragedy that's killed nearly all of the triple champion Russian ice hockey team. Again, that's the Lokomotiv Yaroslav. Just to give you an update on the latest figures, there were 45 on board and 43 of them are reportedly killed. But let's, uh, I'll give you a bit more information about the actual aircraft. Uh, the Yak-42 aircraft that's crashed in Yaroslav is a mid-range passenger jet. Uh, the, now, the flying certificate of this particular plane was due to expire in three weeks' time. Now, the Yak-42 was introduced in the Soviet Union in the 1980s as a substitute for the aging fleet of Tupolev planes. Well, at the beginning of the month, a total of 92 Yak-42 aircraft were listed as being currently in service. Okay, well, again, uh, we're still getting details from the crash site. Earlier, we were showing you first pictures from the site. We're trying to establish a connection with a correspondent there. But as soon as we do, we'll definitely keep you updated of the uh, developments there. 
All right, but first, study that failed nearly all of the triple champion Russian ice hockey team Lokomotiv Yaroslavl. Uh, their Yak-42 jet crashed during takeoff for, from Yaroslavl Airport. That's 270 kilometers northeast of Moscow. Latest figures, 43 of the 45 on board were killed. Again, now let's uh, cross live to Anissa Nawe in Yaroslavl. Anissa, uh, good to see you there. Uh, okay, so you're at the site right now. What is the uh, latest that you can uh, give us? Uh, well, this just in, we now know that 31 bodies have officially been found. Uh, we're hearing conflicting reports. Some are saying that they were actually found in the Volga River where part of the plane, part of the fuse lodge uh, was in fact found. I just want to take you through the latest uh, figures. You mentioned 43 people confirmed dead. It still stands at that number. Uh, 45 on board in total. The team, Yaroslav, uh, Lokomotiv has confirmed that all 37 uh, members of the team were on board. And we do know that two people uh, did survive. One of them is Alexander Karimov, who's a member of the Russian national team. He is in hospital, uh, and we know that he has burns, we're hearing, on 80% of his body, so in very critical condition. The second survivor, we don't know exactly who it is. We do know that it has been confirmed that that second survivor is in hospital, and they're being uh, taken care of, obviously, as we speak. An investigation has been launched. Um, I also want to mention some of the foreigners that were on board. Uh, team head coach is a Canadian, um, and he has been confirmed killed. 52-year-old Brad McCrimmon confirmed dead in that plane crash. We also know uh, that there were, there were members of the team from Sweden, the Czech Republic, Belarus, Ukraine. Uh, and we, we can't confirm this, but we are hearing that one of the players on board was a Czech ice hockey player. Uh, Jan Marks, who uh, we're going to presume for now that he is one of uh, those that were killed because it hasn't been confirmed that he is in hospital. Uh, a devastating tragedy. We're getting pictures in from other cities across the country which have canceled the, the opening games of the KHL season uh, as they get this devastating news of this entire team practically being killed in this crash. All right. Uh, thank you very much uh, for that uh, update, Anissa. Now we're there uh, live in Yaroslavl reporting on the uh, plane tragedy right there. Thank you. A breaking story, the plane tragedy that's killed nearly all of the champion Russian ice hockey team Lokomotiv Yaroslavl. Their Yak-42 jet crashed during takeoff from Yaroslavl Airport. That's 270 kilometers northeast of Moscow, killing 43 of the 45 who were on board. Authorities say the plane failed to gain enough altitude and crashed into a runway beacon. Now, early indications suggest that a technical failure is the main cause of the crash. Well, the jet was on its way to the Belarusian capital, Minsk, where the Lokomotiv Yaroslavl team were heading to play their first match of the season. The entire squad were on board, including players from Sweden, Poland, Ukraine, Czech Republic, Germany, Latvia, and Belarus. Of course, we've got more on this developing story for you throughout the day, so do stay with us for that coverage here on RT.